What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, doing another unboxing video. Got some more stuff to open up here. And like all unboxing videos, just kind of give you my initial reactions, what I think about them. And uh, yeah, but real quick, before we do that, be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting videos. Now, let's see what we all have here. We'll start with the big box, right? Bigger's always better. At least that's what they say. I don't know. Ah. Come on. There we are. Okay. Ooh, plastic. We don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right. So, starting out, what do we have here? Here we are. It is a 12 slot decoy bag from Rogers. So, it's got the slots in it. It's kind of a cloth treated with something that, you know, so it doesn't get super wet, soak up all that. It's got netting in the bottom to let any water out so you don't have water pool in it. And it's got the handle and then the the cinch is tight, so once you put the decoys in, you can just cinch it tight. Front pocket, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a decoy bag, so. Decoy bag from Rogers, 12 slot. That'll work. And then, what else we got? And another decoy bag, and another decoy bag. So, got some decoy bags. We've got a box inside here, too. Okay, worry about that later. What do we got here? Okay, so there we are. F.A. Gadwall. And let's see what we have here. Looks like six drakes and there's two head positions. Let's crack it open. F.A. Decal. It's always nice. Get a decal in there. And hoo hoo. Look at those. That nice rubbery plastic. I really like that. And then that's a, that's a pretty good paint job on. Honestly, look at that. So that's one head position, kind of tucked, perfect for high wind, kind of bad weather hunting. I'm actually going on a hunt tomorrow, so that'll be perfect. And then let's take a look at the other head position. Right there. Make sure that's yeah okay so there's the other one a feeder and it's got the mouth open look at that and i don't know if you guys will even be able to see that but that's pretty pretty nifty right there yeah so there's six of them they're all drakes three like this three like this i think those will work but we've got two other boxes to open let's see what else we got in here Widgeon. Okay, we've got American Widgeon, and it looks like there's two hens, four drakes, and two different head positions for the drakes, and one for the hens. So, there you go, F.A. Widgeon. Let's see what these bad boys look like in person now. Oh, oh, oh boy, look at these bad boys. Once again, they're all that rubbery plastic. I'm not really sure what you call it exactly. But, look at that thing. That is a gorgeous looking widgeon. And I'm gonna pull these out. We'll rig up some of the widgeon. We'll rig up some of the gadwall. See if they do the trick tomorrow. So there's one position. Here's the other. Oh, look at that. He's even talking. I like how their mouths are open. They have a couple different species with mouths open. I haven't ever seen that on other decoys. So that's, that's really cool. That's just a good looking decoy though. I cannot wait to throw these out and hopefully get some ducks over them tomorrow. And then finally, gotta have the hen. There's what the hen looks like. Nothing too crazy. 
but she's kind of that uh, bad weather hunkered down look as well. That'll work. We'll bust those out tomorrow and we'll crack open the last box here. So these are the FA Pintails they've got. And there's two head positions, all drapes. That's all right though. And I really like Pintail decoys because they've got bright white for contrast. You know, they stick out just like, you know, like other decoys as well. But it's just something that helps attract the bird's eye. And look at the detail on that thing. That is a gorgeous decoy. So you got three, I'm losing boxes over here. I'm losing decoys, boxes, whatever. But you got three drakes like that. And then let's see what else. Make sure I got, yeah, that looks right. Okay, so you got three drakes with the head kind of up and three feeder drakes. So that, I mean, all those decoys just looks nice. Once again, it's that rubbery plastic. Just looks really good. Oh, we are back for the second installment. Had to wait a few weeks to get these in. These are the FA Silhouettes, and there's a dozen in each one of these boxes. We'll crack them open here. All right, there we go. So, as I said, four different styles in here, a dozen in a box. Pull them out and take a look at each one. So, don't need that anymore. There's the stakes. Fairly heavy gauge, I would say. They're not pointed, they're just flat at the ends. Uh, some people want to know that, but uh, yeah. Don't seem too bad. And then, there's one right there. That is a Sentry. And they got the two knocks like some other silhouette companies. I'll show you guys up first close. Just a couple little knocks. That's where the stake goes. I'll just try it out here. So there we go. And you tap, tap, tap it in. And uh, yeah, it's a silhouette. So there's another sentry. Like I said, there's four different styles. There's the sentry. Here we have a, uh, I guess I'd call that like a feeder. I guess they do have the names on them. Yeah, a feeder. So, we got three feeders. And what else do they call them? Three sentries. What do we got here? This is a walker. Walker Texas Ranger. Little wet goose right there. No, they're just called walkers. So three walkers, and then uh, three searchers. So there you go. Three searchers, three walkers, three feeders, three sentries. There's that. And then we got this. Ah, there's a staple in there. So watch yourself on that so you don't poke yourself with it. It's kind of staple. Holy cow. Ha! That's smart. Oh. And this is a decoy bag. Structured. That's what it says. I don't need all this crappy wrapping. That's... There you go. And it says it holds five dozen, which coincidentally is how many dozen I got. And it's, yeah. Pulls out. So, it's about yay wide. I mean, it's, it's a bag. You put your silhouettes in it, folds down, folds out. It's got enough room for the silhouettes. It's got Velcro on the inside too, so. Oh, you can. Pull out those panels if you want to. That's what that's for. So you can pull out these panels. There's Velcro, or 
I don't know. If you wanted to make it more of a softer case, I guess, that's what they're thinking there. And then the top, nice little FA logo right there, and hard top. Put your ducks or geese on top after, you know, if you want to take a picture like that. Oh. But that's it. I cannot wait to try these guys out. Finally have some cold weather, finally have some geese in the area, and uh, we'll try these guys out on some honkers, hopefully here very shortly. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products featured in here, let me know down below. I'll do a full review at some point in the future over all this stuff. Uh, but like I said, I can't wait to try it out. Thank you so much for watching once again, and we'll catch you out there. See ya.